Hello, everyone. Time appropriate greetings to wherever you are watching from on this Wednesday evening. How's it going, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday in Deckert. Says, I got Twitch notification on my phone while I was clearing Vault 3 from the Fiends. That is the absolute perfect timing. That is awesome. <clears throat> if I'm going to interrupt anybody's gameplay, it's going to be for Fallout 3 or, or something. That's cool. Welcome, Decker. Welcome, Brad. Welcome, everyone. We are going to play a little bit of the Fallout 3s tonight. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just jump into it. Nothing to really banter about tonight. We're going to pick up pretty much where we left off last time around. Here's the game. I think we played this a week or so ago. That menu music is always so loud. Yeah, we left off the underground hideout last time around. And, uh, yep, this is exactly where we left off last time around. We are playing as Nora the Vaultborn. Yes, Nora the Vaultborn. Her name is Nora. She was born in a vault. Yep. She was born in a vault. At least that's what her father told her. That remains to be seen if she's actually born in the vault. Personally, I think she was born in Project Purity, but that's just me. Uh, Nora's only level 10. I've been on this character for roughly almost a year now, and number one, I haven't played a whole lot of Fallout 3. Number two, I'm using a mod that reduces my XP gains by about 30%. Because I don't want to hit that level cap too quickly. Level 30 with the Broken Steel DLC, I believe. Level 20 without it. And we're already a third of the way there. So, 30% less XP gains through one of my mods. Mod list is in the description. And also, if I hit this magic little button here, there should be a link to the list for this playthrough. Uh, so Nora the Vault Born is only level 10. Um, we are traveling while well, we... For now, we're traveling with Bitter Cup. Yes, I have a mod that turns Bitter Cup into a companion. We'll talk about that in a minute. Dog meat, because you gotta have dog meat. Sergeant RL3, everybody's favorite Mr. Gutsy. And enjoying herself of relaxing in the, uh, in the hot tub here at the Underground Hideout is Sydney. Yes, Sydney from the Stealing Independence Quest. I have a mod that turns her into a companion as well. And it's probably one of the best damn companion mods I've ever used for any Fallout game. She's awesome. And for Fallout 3, what Sydney does is pretty damn impressive. Um, but we will talk about that in a minute. Uh, let's see. Brad says, interesting issues enough before the stealth suit mod. Her voice will interrupt in-progress dialogue with other NPCs. Oh, that's not good. See, that's something I want to go and test next time around. We uh, Next time we do a mod testing session. I think I want to spawn one of those in, and even though I don't have the skills to build one, I, I, I need to test that. So, that's very interesting, Brad. But at least you got her working. That's cool. Uh, Dan and uh, we didn't miss anything. We just got started. We are just getting started. Uh, just about to say that we uh, we have been traveling with Miss Bittercup for a while. Look at how little she is. I had no idea Bittercup was that small, but she's basically a child. And, uh, I, I looked earlier, but I can't remember. I don't have any... I'm nope, getting bored. that's... And Bittercup's getting bored. Yeah, I don't have any power armor here. I gotta get some power armor. You have not lived until you've seen Bittercup wearing power armor. She looks like a child. Child-sized power armor. Um, but yeah, we've been traveling with Bittercup for a while. And I think we're gonna leave her here, here at the hideout. We're just gonna go with the dog... The Doge Meat, the RL3, and the Sydney. Because we just got Sydney last time around. I haven't been traveling her for that long. Uh, yeah, sh um, I'm using a mod that uh, after you complete the Stealing Independence quest, you can recruit Cindy Sydney as a follower. And I, I have another mod that gives me, uh, I, I think it's Unlimited Companions. And it bypasses the Karma Checks. So no matter what your Karma is, you can recruit RL3 or Jericho. I don't mind the karma system, but I find it annoying when you want to recruit companions, especially Jericho. You got to pay him a thousand caps, is it, to follow you? It shouldn't make a damn bit of difference what your karma is. You're paying him, 
he should follow you even if you're a goody two-shoes like uh, Nora the Vaultborn is. And I think RL3 you need neutral. But I was able to purchase him off Tinker Tom with no problem. So I think we're going to leave uh, we're gonna leave Bitter Cup here. And I did a little playing around earlier on how to actually dismiss her. And found out uh, something I either I didn't know or I've forgotten. For those of you new to the channel... I hate it here. Uh, well, you're going to be... Oh, she's going to be here for a while. You better get used to it, Bitter Cup. Um, I haven't played this game since, uh, since 20, I want to say like 2011 was the last time I played this game to completion. So it's been a while. So I'm just kind of, don't have a actual build for this character. We'll go over the special skills here. No particular build in mind. No particular skill set. Although our barter and repair science guns i think that's kind of what i'm focused speech is up to 70 so nora has the gift of the gab no particular build i just want to play this game to play the game and kind of rediscover it get reacclimated to it and get some ideas for some fallout 4 mods somewhere down the road so it's basically just kind of a casual playthrough although i am playing on i don't remember what setting i'm on we are playing on hard we are playing on the hard level. Does your de decontamination work in the underground hideout? Uh, I actually don't know if I... Uh, I got the voice to work, but I don't know if it actually took away any rads because I didn't have any when I got in here, so... I honestly don't know. How you doing, little Goldman? Good to see you. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are. So I was playing around without it actually dismiss Bitter Cup. Now... Oh, hey... I was just trying to think of a word that rhymes with gloom. I want to make sure, uh, hmm, I want to grab her, uh, inventory first. Here. This is for you. We are going to leave her here. We are going to, uh, because I think having two human companions, a Mr. Gutsy, and a dog is a little OP. A little much. So we're just going to grab her stuff. Don't be a stranger. And I think I'm actually just going to drop it in my lockers over here. Uh, I was playing around with her the proper way to actually dismiss her. I found something kind of interesting. Actually, I'm going to repair mine with that. Sounds 10 millimeter pistol, sniper rifle. Just trying to determine what I want. Yeah, I'm going to repair mine up with that. I am using a mod that lets me repair my equipment with scrap metal, wonder glue, whatever uh, various kinds of junk I actually have. She had the recon. Oh, that recon armor is. Uh, I might want to... I'm actually going to repair the recon armor. I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm, I'm actually going to use the workbench for this. How many caps? I have 11,000 caps. I also have a mod that uh, lets you open up the repair services menu at a workbench. And I'm actually going to repair that recon armor. And a few other things. 11,000 caps is actually, actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use that. That's that's good for that. I'm getting bored. Yeah, but well, she's it just like in Fallout 4, just like my Fallout 4 game, dog meat always gets stuck in the doors. It's it just works. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave here bitter cup here with some booze. I actually wanted to get. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna bring that stuff with me. How much does the recon armor weigh? Well, that weighs 20. Oi, maybe I won't be bringing it with me. Uh, you know, I'll give it to RL3. RL3 can carry that stuff. That sounds like a plan to me. I do have a backpack mod that I'm wearing. Uh, the Black Wolf backpack. I have the 70, 70 pounds that adds to my um, carry weight. That is the max that you can purchase from that. This is this is the one I'm using. So, I'm gonna repair that. I'm going to repair this up. See, I can, I can use bent tin cans. I can use Wonder Glue, scrap metal, and I think for some of Some of the clothing, actual clothing, I can wear. Not wear use. Yeah, pre-war money. So there's a whole list of different junk items you can use for repair your which is pretty cool. Sir, by your command, sir. Yes, imperious leader. Uh, I want to access your storage. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. I actually, kind of had planned. Life 
I have a sensor module. I'd like to get I'm gonna give him some of this junk here. I'd like to get more sensor modules to take up to the um, up to um, Lead on. Protector Kasdan at the Outcast to sell him things that are practically junk. I'm gonna give us some ammo. Now I wanna show you guys there's a couple yep. Still not dead, unfortunately. Things I had to kind of figure out with uh, how to dismiss her. Now I got confused. Uh, for, er, for some reason, I was thinking I had a mod that let you mark any location um, as a home for your companions. I'm actually using a mod like that in Fallout New Vegas. I do not have a mod like that for free. I could not find it. Um, so initially, this is what I did. I was playing around with this uh, before I started working this morning. So we're gonna dismiss Bitter Cup. This actually fires her. This sends her back to uh, little, little uh, to Big Town or another. We do not want to do that. Volume drop down. My volume drop down. Microphone up. My level C5. All right, I figured out what happened. It's a Windows 10 thing. It's a Windows 10 thing that happens every time I play through your New Vegas. Windows in that you don't have activated scroll when you scroll through the Pip-Boy. We will go ahead and fix that. There's a setting in uh, Windows 10 I always forget. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, you guys. Um, yeah, every time I scroll in the Pip-Boy in one of these games, Windows thinks it's a window because I'm actually playing the game in windowed mode. So when I use one tweak, I can alt-tab out of the game. For some reason, 3 in New Vegas, if you alt-tab out of the game in uh, full-screen mode, the games crash. But there's a mod called One Tweak that lets you alt-tab out of the game without the game becoming a complete clusterfuck. The problem is you got to run it in full-screen mode. And Windows 10 thinks it's a window, and every time I'm in the Pip-Boy, other windows will scroll. But uh, I, I always forget to disable that little feature. But thank you for letting me know. Because I looked over and it's like, yep, the microphone levels is about down to 50. So, sorry about that. All right, so there's two ways to dismiss Buttercup. I just want to show you this because I want to see if she does the dialogue she was doing earlier. Um, so we're going to dismiss her. Go home, Buttercup. I don't want you following me anymore. Really? I mean... <clears throat> no, uh, uh, really. Fine. Be that way. You'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. So then she takes off. She will go. If I let her go, she'll go up to Big Town, but we don't want that. Jerk. I'm glad we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. That is awesome. Uh, now, let's. I'm going to re recruit her. Um, do you want to get out of this dump? Underground hideout is not a dump. Uh, I could take you with me. Really? I, I mean, um. Uh, yeah. Think you can handle it? I watched someone die once. So I'm an expert on death. She watched someone die, so she's an expert on death. Alright, so I've re-recruited her now to get her to stay in a player home, wherever you want her to stay. Yep. Still not dead, unfortunately. You have to go into... let's see, let's talk about home. Blah, 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 blah. And this is your new home. Hey, whatever. All right, so then you got to go back yep. into that, me Still that menu not dead, option. Unfortunately. And let's talk about home. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, go home and rest. You can rest here. This kind of puts her into an idle sandbox mode, but she's still your follower. Go home and rest. Priorities. <laughs> yeah. So she will just hang around here in sandbox. It looks like she's going to check out her new bedroom. Look, there. oh, check it out. She's going to bed. Bitter Cup just... W she has better AI than any Fallout 4 companion I've ever had. She just, It's 10.30 at night. She just went off and went to bed. That's that's awesome. I like that. Um, earlier, she was over... There's, there's an idol marker over here. She was hanging out, resting on the wall. And, uh, oh, there's Sydney. Uh, Sydney, you can do the same thing, too. What's up? Uh, we're not going to dismiss her, but you can actually tell her... I think there was a thing here. Um, how about... See, yeah, this is what she would do to dismiss Sydney here. How about you rest here at home for a while? That'll make her stay here. And she'll just kind of sandbox around. But uh, 
You can also tell her, take a break, just don't go too far. Sounds good. I'm beat. So if you're going to be around in the, in the house for a while, or any, I guess any player home, any location, Sydney actually has Let's an option Let's get the hell here. out of here. Hmm. Uh, break's over, Sydney. Let's go. Okay. Uh, but I think you can come in here, and I think it's, is it her tactics? Oh, yeah? Uh, yes. I want you to consider this place your home. Thanks. So, any other player home I have, I can, t I can actually have her stay there. Now, you can't dismiss her there unless you're there. So, um, let's jump out of that. Oh, sure. I'm going to have her go back in sandbox yeah? for a minute. Yeah, what's up? I just want to see what she does. Uh, go, uh, how about you rest here at home for a while? Sounds good. I'm beat. And then we'll, uh, oh! She's got the nut. That was not expecting that. <laughs> well then, I was not expecting that. She put on the naughty nightwear, and she's going to go do a little gardening in the dark there, Sydney. Are you going to do a little gardening, uh, hey gardening there. in, hey, hey there. I'm a little scared of the way she said that. <laughs> well, ready then. Um, actually, I think it's probably time I get some sleep too. Uh, that's how Bethesda got their expertise. They just watched somebody develop a game. <laughs> oh, um, I also learned something new too. The last time we played, I don't know if you guys that were here for the stream or uh, maybe I mentioned it. We were outside, and, and I had mentioned previously that I'm using the Tales, not Tales, well, I want to keep calling it Tales from the Commonwealth. It's basically Tales from the Commonwealth for Fallout 3. It is the 3D NPC pack by Chris, Ta Chris Takahashi, who's the author of Tales from the Commonwealth for Fallout 3, interesting NPCs for Skyrim. He has a whole series of mod, uh, quest mod package here for Fallout 3, and I've got a whole bunch of them. Well, not a whole bunch of them. I have several of those in my quest log here. Like, uh, let's see, Factory Sealed is one of them. We have to infiltrate Fort Independence, um, go spy on the outcasts. And there's a couple other ones here that I've already finished. Well, one of those companions is Audrey. And if you've played uh, Tales from the Commonwealth for Fallout 4, you know damn well who Audrey is. She is a ghoul. And she says she's from the Capital Wasteland. Well, Audrey's also in Fallout 3 from in that mod. I actually left Audrey here, told her to wait. She didn't have a dismiss option. She didn't have a wait here at home option. I just told her to wait here. And last time we played, we got a message that's saying Audrey has left your party. Apparently, it's a thing where I don't know if it's that way currently, because I've never run into it in uh, Fallout 4. But back in the day, you told a companion to wait somewhere, they would wait for seven days and automatically dismiss themselves. And that's what happened with Audrey, apparently. So I have no idea where she's buggered off to. I reloaded the save and dismissed her, and she said something about going to the commons. And I don't know if they, she meant Canterbury Commons or some other commons. So, I'd like to try and get over to Canterbury Commons today. We, uh, kind of over the game plan. So, maybe we're in the Audrey there. Hello, Cynipus. How you doing? Good to see ya. I saw your message on Nexus and have been too damn busy with working things to get back to you, but I'll try I'll try and get back to you in the morning, man. I uh, just want to let you know I did, uh, did see your... Broke my back there. So let's kind of go over the quick game plan, then we'll get uh, Nora the Vault Born some sleep to get that well rested bonus. Underground Hideout, we're right around the corner from uh, Rivet City and Anacostia Crossing. And yes, I actually said Rivet City, not Diamond City. My plan for today, since we didn't get to it, to it last time, is there's a whole bunch of this part of the map up here that we have not yet explored. Um been on this character for over about a year and this is as far as we've got as far as the main quest goes we're up to the waters of life we got dad out of uh, vault 21 and we got to go over to project purity to, to start that whole next part of it but i'm gonna gonna hold off on that for all i want to go explore the map some more this is kind of just be an expl exploration stream today i don't have a whole lot of time to stream tonight i just want to go explore the map See how far we can get. And I would love to end up back over here at Canterbury Commons and see if Audrey's hanging out there. Because I do have the, um, the Mechanism Antagonizer quest over there, too. Which I haven't done in... I, it's probably been... I'm going to say it's been almost eight years since I played this game to completion. I've only played the game three times. So... That's, that's, that's the plan. But what I was thinking of doing, since we do have uh, Head of State... For the slaves up at, um, what is here, Temple of the Union. We're not that far from the Lincoln Mem 
Lincoln Memorial to go clear that out. We could easily get there through the metro. We've already been over to the Museum of Technology, Museum of History, and it's not that far. It's on, on the Capitol Plaza there. So I was thinking we head over there, at least clear that out, and if we get up to uh, Canterbury Commons, the Temple of the Union is not that far away. So, that's the plan. I'm actually going to leave that quest marker on. And is Sydney still hanging out in the Sydney still hanging out in the garden? Well, I'm going to go in my little bed here and get some sleep. Let's see, 11:56. Let's do the uh, let's do the eight-hour thing. And then I'll drop a big boy say before we head outside. It's uh, just come on, door. Just curious. Hey, check. Look hey at her. There. Hey there. She put her she put her day clothes back on. That is pretty freaking cool. I'm, I think our all three is blocking her uh, her path in there. I just want to see where else she goes. That is not something I was expecting. Yeah, Bitter Cup's up too. Oh, well, check it out! Bitter Cup is doing push-ups. Have that... you come to talk to me? Aww. <laughs> did you guys hear that? She wants to know if I came to talk to her. Ah, where did Sydney go? Is she going here? No. Um, you, this is actually Bitter Cup's room, Sydney. I think uh, it's time for us to head out. What's up? Uh, let's see. Interested in heading back out there? When you're ready. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Where did Bitter Cup go? There she goes. Make me some purified water uh, while we're out there. Hey, can do. How you doing? Let's drop the big boy save here before we leave. And uh, let's head on outside. Uh, enable detox. See, I it it activated the first time I came in, and I don't know if I had any uh, any rads or anything or not. But I don't think I've had anything because it hasn't hasn't activated since. Oh, this is a little cozy. All right, we got. Uh, all right, there's Sydney. Bitter Cup is staying home. I should probably see what my ammo situation here is. Uh, and I kind of want to do a um, hotkey roll call here because I don't remember what I have in this game. 10 millimeter submachine gun. Do I have nothing? Oh! I must have repaired uh, the wrong laser rifle. All right, well, we're going to put this on too. Not that it really matters. So that's two. Where's my... Hmm. Okay, none of my weapons are not key anymore for some reason. Three Chinese assault rifle, four should be the shotgun, five should be my sniper rifle, and I don't have anything on six. All right, cool. Let's see, we have 506 for that, 566 for that, 379, and 142. I think we're pretty set for ammo. All right. A slightly less motley crew. All right, Bitter Cup's fun to have around, but I think two human companions and Mr. Gutsy and the dog is, uh, is a little much. So we're going to head over to uh, Anacostia Station Metro. Make our way over towards uh, towards the Capitol Mall. See if we can't find Lincoln Memorial. Clear that out. And then we'll try and find a way over to the Wasteland. We'll do some exploring. Nor this, Nora the Splora. No super mutants spawned up here yet. Yes, they have. And for those of you who weren't here last time, we now have zooming scopes in Fallout 3. Thanks to the Stewie's Tweaks. Script extender plugin. So, yep, those uh, super mutants were not there the last time around. So I think we may want to release them from their torment. Let's try and get rid of the guy with the, uh, the minigun first. I don't know if I'm actually hitting him. Oh, I guess I did. I got a critical strike. Oh, where the hell did he go? Good enough. 
Did we get them both? All right, there's got to be a... There's usually a third one up there, I think. Oh, no. His friend's still up there. Well, that's the end of that. I couldn't see him. I couldn't see where the hell he was, so... And there's probably a... There's, when you first come up here, there's a third one that's behind a... Uh, I can always sell that. We'll leave that behind. Ah, uh, damn it. The, um... I can go back and adjust the sneak speed like I'd wanted to. Uh, sometimes there's a... There's another one behind the wall up here. Yeah, I can see him on the uh, on the compass there. Let's just go take care of him while we're while we're here. Uh, this is normal Fallout 3, Deckard. This is straight up Fallout 3, not TTW. Yeah, I had been playing with the uh, sneak speed a little bit, and it's. I thought I had it where I wanted, but this seems a lot slower. This is almost like vanilla now. It's a little too slow for me. Oh! Don't... Don't you teleport on me like that. I got this... Yeah, see, I've already... Already got the loot from here. Um, Before we go... Sydney! Why are you using grenades? Yeah? What's up? Give me those damn grenades. Sure thing. Give me those. You use your gun. I got your back. <laughs> Where did you get those from? Ooh, a missile launcher. It's probably, yeah, the value. It's practically junk. We're not going to take it. Um... I do want to see here. Why? I want to make sure I don't have any skill books. I have a tendency to hoard school book or school books. Yeah, see, I have tumblers today. Luck pick increased by two. I have a tendency to pick up skill books and then lug them around and not not eat them, not consume them. Like I said, it's been it's been a long time since I played this game. Gotta relearn every damn thing. We're gonna make another big boy save here. All right, so let's head back on our track. Whoop! That is the console command, not, not the one key. And yes, I have a sprint mod installed, so we can actually burn up some AP, sprint a little bit. It's uh. Oh, I gotta get Nora's. Nora has a combat helmet I gotta get on, too. But, nope. That is Nora the Vaultborn, who is not wearing her Wasteland Soldier helmet. That's a little better. Uh, this Wasteland Soldier outfit is a mod. One of my favorite mods for Fallout 3. There's a version for New Vegas that I use. It um, gives you plus one charisma, plus five small guns. And it comes with a, a, a company helmet. Now this is there's a there's a medium. I think there's a light, medium, and a heavy. And I ch I bought the medium from Moira because you, you buy it from vendors. It's in the level list. For, it's in the vendor level list. Um, I don't think you can loot it from anybody. But uh, it weighs 15, and I think the heavy only gave a few, like three or four more damage resistance. And to me, it wasn't uh, it wasn't worth the the trade off. Now, funny enough, the game reads it as a sheriff's duster, so it must uh, must be using the some um, magic effect or enchantment from the from the sheriff's duster because the game thinks I'm wearing a sheriff's duster, which is kind of funny. I'm just going to heal up a little bit here. I took a little damage. Let's uh, let's have a Brahmin steak, and what else can I eat here? Some iguana bits. Let's take a Nuka Cola. That ought to help. There we go. And there was something else I was going to do. Oh, yeah. I thought that I repaired this. Or did I take more damage? Okay, we'll repair that. 
repair my outfit up a little bit. So if you guys, uh, the last stream when we went over the uh, the features at the underground hideout, one of them is that there's a terminal there, and you can order, do a little shopping on the terminal, and a caravan will deliver those items to you. Hello. This is the caravan. This is Delivery Brahmin. Now, if you order items from the terminal, you can either wait till 7 a.m. the next morning. They'll, this caravan will come down to the underground hideout and deliver them to you. You meet them outside. Or you can come over here to Rivet City and pick them up from them. Uh, we'll deliver anything you order. We leave Rivet City at 7 a.m. and we'll be there as fast as we can. Bye. Yeah, no voice. Uh, just the basic dialogue in him, but... Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think that is very, very cool. Of course, you pay uh, you pay a premium price for that convenience. And last time we came out of Anacostia Station, we got met by the Talon Company, Hit Squad, and those their corpses are still here. We did release them from their torment. Yeah, there's there's no loot over there. So my plan is to just run back down into the metro, which we've already cleared out pretty much. Head over to, um, you can see it on the map here, Museum Station, and we'll come out to the Museum of, Te Museum of Technology and uh, Lincoln Memorial. And I kind of want to figure out a way to get out into the wasteland. I don't want to really have to fast travel. And I don't have a lot of time to go getting lost in the metro, so I may just fast travel across the river. We'll see. This should be all cleared out. We've been through here several times already. Yeah, see, there's a uh, there's a raider. We've kind of picked this place uh, this place clean. Turn my light of Pip Boy on. As I mentioned earlier, those uh, I, I just started streaming on Twitch about a week or so ago, a little over a week. But I have been streaming on YouTube, and we want to go to the Museum Station Street. Streaming on YouTube for a, bit, a little over a year, and uh, I've had this character underway over there for quite a while, so... We've been through the Metro a few times, back and forth from here in Megaton. We have everybody. I heard there are all three. There's the Doge, there's the Robot, where's Sydney? There she is. Pretty much pick these people clean. We're not gonna, not gonna get a whole lot of stuff right now. Museum station. This is what we want. Just in, on the chance that this is. I'm pretty sure this hasn't respawned. Yeah. Mall outpost. That's where we want to go. Follow the Brotherhood signage. Keep an eye out for those bent tin cans. How many bent tin cans do I actually have? I may not need to pick any more of this up for a while. I have 25 bent tin cans. I think that's pretty good. And yeah, we've gone. Looted the bejesus out of that already. That's, uh... It's a conductor. I'd actually be interested in sensor modules. Maybe take those over to Protector Kasdan, but uh, that's not what we have. Is this Museum of Technology and Monuments? This is the way we want to go. 26 spent tin cans is even better. Yeah, these are all just regular tin cans. Uh, originally, oh, get this one. Originally, the regular tin cans were in. Um, in the repair list, but I was running into problems every time I repaired something with a with a regular tin can, the game would crash. So I uh, opened up the mod and X edit, removed those, and uh, now I can only use the bent tin cans, which is perfectly fine with me, because the bent tin cans are less. C Whoa! Hello, Havoc physics. Hello, Havoc. Uh, bent tin cans are a lot less common. Can't stand the sight of your own blood. The, uh, 
can do. We just cleared this out the last time we came here. Here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, you. Come on, game, switch weapons. Thank you. You hit the you hit the four key to change to your shotgun and nothing happens. Okay, we are gonna heal up a little bit here. 99 stim packs, that's all. Where do we gotta go? Where's the actual monument? Okay, it's the marker up this away. But yeah, as I was saying, the, uh, the bent tin cans are less common, and I'm okay with that. Everywhere you turn around, there's a regular tin can, and that just... That's a little much. Because then you might as well not have weapon degradation. As it is, I can use scrap metal. Which I kind of like. It gives you the... Uh, you have to make a choice. Do I use the, the scrap metal that I had to repair my equipment? Or do I sell it to Walter for, uh, for some caps and XP? And I've just been chosen to sell it. Scanning, sir. There's plenty of other things I can repair my gear with. There should be Brotherhood over at the monument since we have the, uh, we've restored the radio beacon already, or the radio transmitter, rather. Oh, he's got a minigun. You know what? I'm speaking of repair. Sometimes if I repair too many things too quickly, the game crashes. It's an old, apparently it's an old engine bug that's, uh, was never fixed. Surprise, surprise. By your command, sir. Yeah, you repair too many things too quickly and the game will crash. I think I may have misheard that order. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Excellent. We'll <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you questioned my order there. I want to actually, actually access your storage module. RL3 comes equipped with everything I did not a good want to soldier needs, him. but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Okay, do I have anything else I want to give him? 244, we're good. That is fine with me. And just to demonstrate what a kind of a genius that I am. Am I going the right way? Okay, that's the Museum of History. That's Willow. Not Willow from New Vegas, but uh, Willow the Ghoul. Uh, how much of a genius I am? I completely forgot that Dogmeat can't carry your equipment in this game. The first time I ever, when I first recruited Dogmeat, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't uh, have him carry my burdens. Because he can't. I completely forgot. Uh, I've been playing way too much Fallout 4. Move along, outsider. Um, I'm, but I, I want to be one of you. You got a Ripper. Brotherhood's the Steel Knight with a friggin' Ripper. That's pretty cool. I expected you to have a much more technologically impressive weapon than that. Yeah, I forgot the dog. doesn't carry inventory. So I looked at a mod that actually uh, gives him some armor, and he can carry things. But, uh, that's Brotherhood. Oh! We just got guts that just spawned out of nowhere. It's a, It was a Wastelander. He just spawned out of nowhere. Uh, a mod that gives you some armor that you can equip on Dogby so he can carry things. It's, oh, a vicious dog. Oh, there's a vicious dog right there. It looked a little goofy. Uh -huh. He looked like a... He looked like a pack ramen. So... I decided not to use it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Alright. Good boy, dog meat. We can always sell this. Now, I think the quest log says to clear. Make sure Lincoln Memorial is free of super mutants. I actually think there's um, 
slavers there, aren't there? I think we have to go around the... I think the way I used to do it was go around the back. I remember there being a, a bunch of mines. Oh, there's a metro here. What metro station is this? With the, uh... With, with the really odd texture fluctuations here. Oh, it's only when I move. That's interesting. What is this? Mall Northwest. I wonder if we could take that... Hmm, I want to see where that goes. Because I'm pretty sure when you bring the slaves from Temple of the Union, I think you come out there. That might be where, be where we want to go. Hmm. Let's drop another save here. Yeah, there's... There's slavers there. Okay. I don't know if we can talk to them or not. I don't remember. Let's try our hands at talking just for just for kicks, because they're not hostile right now. And they've already taken out some super mutants. Tell Hannah it's free of super mutants, but uh That's close enough. Hmm. What the hell are you doing wandering around here? Hmm. Easy now, I'm just curious about this place. I'm not looking for trouble. Curiosity can get a Wastelander killed. I'm going to let you through, but you'll have to talk to Mr. Walker first. Hmm. Follow me. Oh, and stay off the memorial steps. They have orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. The dirt path is safe. Okay. Can I... Okay, I guess I have to follow you this way. Oh. <laughs> but I'm following Silas. No one is allowed in huh. the memorial. Interesting. I don't remember ever doing this. Mr. Walker is waiting. Are you Mr. Walker? Yes, you are. Well. Who do we have here? I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. Uh, looks to me like you're ready for war. Uh, what are you really doing here? Nope, not really. I'll be on my way. Uh, looks like to me you're ready for war. What are you really doing here? You're a sharp one. We're from Paradise Falls. We're hunting runaway slaves. Have you seen any? Hmm. Um... Oh, we could turn them in, but no, we're not going to do that. Nope, haven't seen any slaves recently, know nothing about them. That's too bad. You know, you seem like the type of wastelander that might be for hire. I need someone to get some loot hmm. out of the nearby Hey, TC, room. how you doing? Are you interested? Hmm, not really. Um, where is this ruin? It's a museum, just past the Washington Monument. I'm only interested in stuff related to Abraham Lincoln. Bring me back whatever you find. Hmm. Oh, and don't try to go into the memorial. The guards have orders to shoot on sight. Hmm. Why are you so interested in Lincoln artifacts? Don't want slaves using them to start a revolt or anything. So we burn them. Hmm. All right. I better get going and go back and tell the slaves. Good luck in the museum. Bring me back something, and I'll let you get a closer look at the memorial. Hmm. Okay, so we could probably try killing these guys here, but I think what we're going to do is, uh... Tell Hannibal that the memorial is free of super mutants. I think we have to uh, kill all the slavers ah, near the Lincoln Memorial. Hmm. I'm tempted to kill these guys here. Let's drop a save here. I think it's just, uh, since we're here, I was going to help the, uh, the slaves anyway. Let's just, uh, take care of this right now. My sympathies go out. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just going to take care of that right now. There's no sense coming back. Oh, and we got a Nuka-Cola Quantum for Miss Sierra. 
How can it be stealing when you're stealing from slavers? How can you get, uh... I didn't get any bad karma, though, which is good. Just see what else they had here. Anything? Ooh, bobby pins. So all the guys outside will probably be, be hostile, but I'm okay with that. Antler! Antler, what are you doing here? Wrong game. Interestingly enough, that looks like it's the same... It is the same globe. It's one of the... The junk globes that you get in Fallout 4. It's same texture. Oh, these Nuka-Colas. We'll take a few of those. Take some noodles. What did Leroy Walker have? Take... I'll take that. Take the ammo. Guy looked like Mr. T. Past tense there, TC. Looked like Mr. T. Uh, let's see. Let's repair my shotgun. And what else we got here? That's good. All right. So I'm going to assume that all those other guys Sir, are going to be hostile when we head out. Oh, wow. You can actually read the uh, inscription. I don't know if that's a vanilla texture. It's awfully clear for a vanilla texture. Lincoln Warren in the South in his inaugural address, in your hands, my dissatisfied fellow countrymen, and not in mine, is the momentous issue of civil war. The government will not assail you. You can... You have no oath registered in heaven to destroy the government. Well, I shall have the most solemn one to preserve and protect and defend it. That's pretty awesome that I can actually read that. I think we have enough loot from in here. Let's, uh... We go outside. I always like to save them before I go outside because you never know. It's Fallout 3 in Windows 10. Oh, yeah, they're hostile already. All right, let's, uh... Hello? Who's there? Uh-oh, grenade. Since you don't seem to favor... Slaver. Oh, dog meat, no. Get out of the way. I don't think I've ever done a frontal assault on these guys before. And this is probably why. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to go in through the back, I think. Uh, let's take some... I have a few chems here. Let's, uh... Let's do some psycho. And let's do some... I should have some medics. And we'll take a little jet. Where's the other Take him ones? out. He was alive when I typed, TC says. You gotta type faster. <laughs> type faster. Where's the other one? Oh, there's one down here. A couple of them. Okay, let's, uh... We'll go for the arm. And Sydney will heal herself uh, after combat, too, apparently. Is that it? See, I remember this being much more difficult than that. I know there's probably more here. Yeah, I used to come in through the back way, and I remember there being a crap ton. Yeah, see, there's a trap here. Yeah, I think the back is off full of mines. All right, well, that's cool. Read faster, I have... Yeah, well, I got a delay here, too. It works both ways. And yeah, look at it. It's almost... Uh, it's getting dark already. It's already uh, 6 p.m. All right, let's go loot these guys. All right, you have some ammo. No, I'm going to take that, too. Been the Paradise Falls yet? No, not yet. No, we were near it, um, I would say a few months ago, but I purposely avoided it because I wasn't sure how I was going to play it yet. And, uh, I just decided, well, let's just take these guys out and we'll let the slaves come here. But yeah, I haven't, uh, have not, uh, not been to the Paradise Falls yet. All right, we're just going to take all the things. of these. Eat.
Okay, I think we're good. That's 287 out of 360. Sir, right. I am on the lookout. Okay. I seem to remember it being a little more difficult coming in through the front, but oh. We'll take those things too. Out to that uh, that metro station that we saw because I'm not sure where that goes. Let's see if it takes us. Uh, what I'd like to do is end up over here somewhere because I, like I said, I want to kind of loop around here and go to the the uh, I guess it'd be the western part of the map. We have not done a whole lot of exploring out that way. And I do not remember where this goes, so we're going to need a map. Okay, Georgetown Mall Metro. weapon here, a laser rifle. Hmm. Mighty dark. Okay, looks like we have ghouls. We have ghouls down here. We have ferals. I don't think my laser, or my um, energy weapon skill is up that high either, is it? No, it's, well, it's 35. It's better than I thought it was. Yes, go west, young vault dweller. Yes, the vault born is going west. I need to find a map, though, because I have no idea where this metro line goes. Hopefully there's a map on the lower level. I hear squishy feet. Squishy ghoul feet. Where? What's the matter, huh? You can't stand the sight of your own blood. Just, just the two. Where does it's up this way? Oh, hello. Wow. That was impressive. Oh, that's right. I, I had psycho and medics going on. Hey, I replenished my psycho. Sorry, RL3. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, up in there. Hi. Sir, searching for targets. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. That is a dead end. What do we got here? Milk bottle. Is that a conductor? Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that stuff. All right, let's, uh, I guess, head down below, then. Oh. Yes, please. I need a map. Hmm. Cigarettes are always good to sell. I don't see 
see a map down here. Let's take a quick look up here. I didn't see a map anywhere. No. There are no maps anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. Does this even connect anywhere? Is it no tunnel there. Yeah, no, I, I don't think we go anywhere through here. Hmm, okay. Really? Really? It really is a dead end. All right. Yep. Does seem to be a dead end. All right. I, for some reason, I thought when you bring the slaves back, you come out through the station, but I guess not. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Oh, we don't. Oh, hold the bus. We didn't come in here. Chinese Army Special Operations Training man Manual. Take that. Take those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that book. Sneak increased by two. I will take it. This has got to be the way we came in, then. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy, is it dark out. Holy crap. You know what we're going to do? There were beds back at the Lincoln Memorial and the slaver camp. Let's go sleep there for the night. Uh, Kandu says, in Fallout 3, last time I played, I was getting a missing mesh symbol, then crash. Never figure out what it was. Is there an easy way to diagnose it? Well, if you're getting it with no mods installed, you probably want to reinstall the game. If you're using mods, it's more than likely from a mod. Either there's a mesh missing, or you don't have the archive and validation activated, which is what lets the game read loose files. Which, a surprisingly number, surprising number of Fallout 3 mods, New Vegas 2, are actually loose files. Um, but that would be my first suggestion, is to try it. If you're not using mods, I would reinstall the game. If you have no mods installed and you're getting missing meshes, you have a... Probably have an installation problem. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do... We'll do 10 hours. But if you're using mods, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those painful processes of tracking down which... which mod it is. But I would double check, make sure you have your archive and validation set correctly so that the game can read loose files from the mods. I was running fine with mods and it just started. I would double check your archive and validation. Some, sometimes, for whatever reason, your mod manager or mod organizer will turn it off. You want to make sure that that is uh, up and running. That's the only thing I could think of. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to modding 3 in New Vegas. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's see where this one goes. I don't know if I just save, but we're going to save again. Because I can. When Delicious Colin Brad on YouTube... I assume he's not here when... Mr. Colin Brad watches us later. We got to give him something to do to mark in his book. All right, so this is what I was hoping for. Another, uh, another way to get. Okay, we got Ruby Ghoulies here. I have no idea where this goes or what this is. Let's investigate. 
Oh, that was that was smart. Keep firing. I'm on fire. Let's fire. Let's fire with an open gas. Damn you! Present. That was brilliant. Okay, sensor module, yay! I'll take that, leave everything else behind. I don't know where the hell this is or wh where this goes. It's Jinkies, we have a mystery here. And the ghouls have been able to get away if it wasn't his first kids in our meddling dog. Our meddling kids in our dog, rather. Get him, RL3. Well, that's the end of that. Hmm. Alright. Uh, you guys can... See, it's not dog meat that gets in my way here. It's everybody else. Oh, that's the wrong key for the light. What do you have? A Felgo. Felgo Roamer. Roamer. What do we got down there? I don't know where the hell this goes. Chinese pistol. I'm going to probably unload some of this stuff before too long on one of my faithful companions. So they can carry my burdens. Oh, speaking of mods and carrying burdens and whatnot. I was watching, uh, watching a streamer here on Twitch play Skyrim yesterday. And he's playing um, Requiem, a Legacy Edition. Because apparently uh, there's no... No Special Edition version. Or no official Special Edition version. And, uh, whoops, I hit dog meat, damn it. And the game, the game just froze. The game just froze. Yep. All right. Well, that's freeze number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the first time we've had that happen in a while. Um, so anyway, speaking of too many... <laughs> this is exactly what I was going to say. Um, streamer was playing Skyrim Legacy Edition with Requiem. The game crashed when he was in, uh, was in combat. Guiana's me? Gian is me. Thank you for that follow. I very much appreciate it. Um, and somebody piped into the into the chat and said, "Too many mods." I don't understand why people play this game with so many mods. Skyrim. Playing Skyrim with too many mods. Can't understand why people would play Skyrim with with a lot of mods. Let's see, we're gonna. The last save I had. Pick that up. That's that's the first time we've had that in I don't know how many streams. That is the first time we've had that in I want to say seven or eight streams. We've it's been hours and hours and hours since we've had anything happen like that. So I'll take it. Hey whiskey, how you doing? Blood. Hey, Sam. Where? Yeah, you picked a good time to show up. That was the, uh... uh... I'm gonna leave that. That's the first time we've had that in a very, very long time. We got this down here, too. I, I, I'm gonna jinx it by saying this. But the only crashing that we've really had is... The um, problem I mentioned earlier with the scrap mod and scrapping things too quickly. We have had a few trees as well. Over here. Make the pain last longer. But interestingly enough, the freezing, especially freezing in vats, is something I get in Fallout 4 too. So we're gonna backtrack and go back the other way that we were in. I'm going to kind of go back the way we came. I'm going to drop a save here in case we have another freeze. 
I think I can count on one hand the number of times we've frozen like that in, uh, I don't know how many dozens and dozens of hours of playing this playthrough. So, I will take it. And now maybe I won't set myself on fire. Oh, thank you for that subscription. I can't, uh, there's, there's still something wrong with how my subs are set up. I can't read the text to see who that was, but thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Okay, well, at least I, I set the ghoul on fire and not myself this time, so we're making progress. Oh, thanks. Uh, am I saying that right? Gian's, Gian is me? Gian, I, I want to make sure I say that right. Well, I'm glad you found the YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, cool. Gian is me. I'll try and remember that. the way that we... Oh, jeez, we got a glowing one. Hello. Hey. Okay. Oh, pencils. Where's Willow? This is not... This is not the way we came. I don't know. I don't know where the hell we are or where this goes. I don't remember. I don't remember this. I do not remember this. I'm gonna head back this way. I'm gonna take a stab. This all has to link up somewhere. I just don't remember it. Nice job, team. Alright. I think we were taking some rads early before we froze, so. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop another save here, because this is where we had problems the last time, so. I don't wanna have to go repeat every Oh! Hang on a second. The name of the cell. Hazmat disposal site L5. I don't I don't remember this. I do not remember this. Very possible I've never ever been down here before. Alright, we got. This might be a dead end, too. It looks like it is. I think we're gonna to want to double back. Here's. If this is a hazmat site, I think I'm gonna take some. some Rad X. Yeah, this is a dead end. Although it looks like it can go back this way. Is this where the glowing one was? Me. No, it's not. Hello. Yeah, too close. Dog meat does get in the way of when I wanna wanna shoot something, but he hasn't blocked the door. I'll take care of that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's another right away. I don't alright, I guess that's the way out. Let's go see if there's anything in this terminal. 
Oh, turret control system. Hmm. What's my science? I don't even think with Lesko's lab coat I have enough. I don't know where the turrets are. Let's, uh, just go up and see what we can find. I don't know where the hell this goes. Let's see. Who are you, a mercenary? Now, if I, I don't remember this cell, and if I had a World of Pain installed, I'd say, oh, this must be a cell from World of Pain, but I'm not using that in this playthrough. I do not remember this, which is kind of cool. Very possible I've never been down here before. I've only played this game three times to completion. I've only done the DLC once, so I've forgotten quite a bit, which is why I want to replay it. Let's, uh, let's switch back over to the. So okay, I'm gonna guess that this can. Yeah, this must connect to where we came in from. Yes. Or is this where we came in from? Hmm. No, I don't remember this toolbox. Actually, this is where we. This is where we came in from, because that toolbox was there. Wait a second. The mall. There's got to be another way. It's gotta, we're going to head back down. I want to go explore this a little. There's got to be another way out of here. Makes you want to play another, start another playthrough. You should do it. I mean, I've been playing this character for... Uh, I've been playing as much as I would like. started this character roughly a year ago. Around the same time I started another New Vegas playthrough. This character, we just hit level 10 the last time around. So. Playing on this one for a while. Alright, where? We're gonna head back down this way. There's gotta be another way out of here. I can't believe this is a dead end cell. We still have enemies down here, too. One. Oh, damn it, dog. He doesn't get in my way in the doorways, but boy, does he get in my way when I, when I want to shoot something. Okay, looks like this is the way we want to go up here. Okay, my red axe wore off just in time. I hear, I hear. Thank you, team. Human flesh. We're gonna leave. All right, let's make another save here. Cause you never know. We've seen what happens when you don't save. Let's uh, let's sneak up here, cause this is actually probably where we wanted to go. Not back the other way. Um, we haven't had any music, which is odd. There's been no dungeon music. Okay, we have uh, have a friend up here. It looks like. Uh oh, that's no cool idea. Sounds like maybe a super mutant. Yep. Yep, that was no ghoul. Okay, where do we end up? Whoops. Aha! Another metro station. We 
are clear here. Uh oh. Booby trap. Lentfunt Plaza. Hmm. I don't remember where the hell this is. Let's make a save and check the map. There's our music. Alright, we want world map. Oh, we are nowhere near where I wanted to be. Hmm. I'm actually going to turn the quest marker off here. And I was hoping we'd be across the river somewhere. Wow, we are basically right where we start. Oh, boy. All right. That's... All that, we're just... We're just here. Really? Are those guys Talon? Yes, they are. All right. Let's see if I can uh, introduce them to a grenade here. I only have 27 of them. Nice! Who needs a fat man? When you have grenades in a bus. Uh, we are... Nowhere near where I was hoping we'd end up. What do these guys have here? Is that a shotgun? I want the shotgun. Repair mine. Now, there's the contract. Kill Nora. I have another character that I used to play uh, World of Pain with, and his name's Preston Gravy. So when these guys shows up, it says, it says kill Preston, and I find something. I find a little bit of humor in that. See, let's uh, tell you what. Let's make sure I'm modifying the right one here. Or repairing, rather. Oh. Yeah, I wish, I wish this showed you which one was the one you had favorited because more often than not, I repair the wrong one. I think I'm going to give some of this stuff to Sydney. Yeah? What's up? Uh, let's see. Mind if we trade gear? Sure thing. Uh, the vault, our vault dweller is named Nora. Nora the Vaultborn. Hang on to that when I can repair mine. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to Button's wig. I keep. I gotta remember that I have that. Uh, let's see. I don't know if she'll. I don't know if that's any better than what she's wearing or not. We'll find out here. Oh, it is. All right. I'm right behind you. So, uh, so now Sydney has a uh, set of Talon combat armor to match bitter cups. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take a short break here, guys. I need to uh, go stretch the legs and. Need some help oh. with this one. Or not. Let's uh, take care of these guys. Oh, hello. Uh oh, grenade, 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 grenade. That's over. I was just gonna take a break too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break, stretch the legs. I gotta, I gotta do some human things and get a fresh glass of water. Feel free to do the same. Do whatever you gotta do. I won't judge. And we will be back here for more of the Fallout Three when I return.
right, we are back. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys sticking around during our little break there. Uh, I was just looking at the map. Oh, I better reload here. Just looking at the map. And I can't believe we're essentially where we left off. That's pretty awesome. We're not... According to the map, we're not far from Dukov's place, but I can't remember if we can get there from here. We're going to head back this way. I don't know that... We, it might be one of those areas where there's a wall that you have to... Uh, you know how DC is broken up into uh, kind of little world spaces. If we can't get over to Dukov's place, I may just fast travel over there. Because we are kind of... Uh, kind of eating up some of the stream time I have tonight. Fast travel to Dukov's place and then just cross the river because I really want to get out this way before uh, I have to stop tonight. I wanted to get there last stream and we, we never made it, so... Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Sledgehammer. We're going to leave that behind. I'm pretty well stocked for things to sell. I'm going to leave everything. Uh, I really need to get reacclimated how DC is set up. Uh, Deckard's asking, you've told me some time ago that you've been multiple times to Germany. Yes, yes, I have. What's your opinion on German beer? I like it very much. I love German beer. Although I've come to have a deep appreciation for Czech beer as well. I, I hear super mutants. Boy. Another one over there. All right, we're gonna do some more chems here. Uh, let's see. I have some more psycho. We'll take some more medics and some jets. Probably gonna get addicted here. Uh, can I get the? Oh God, Sydney. Oh man, another one with the minigun over there. All right, we are. Uh... We're deep in it here. Are deep in it. Focus on these guys here, though. Okay, you have an assault. These guys are all going to have some 556, five, so I'm going to want to go loot them. I'm, uh, only have about 400 rounds left. I don't know where all these guys came from, but where'd you go? Oh boy. Alright. Oh, look at you. I think after that, I think after that, I'm definitely gonna save again. Uh, yeah, Deckard, um, when I go to Germany, I usually spend most of my time in Berlin, and it is only about a three-hour train ride from Berlin to Prague, so I usually try and do an overnight to Prague when I can, or at least a couple days, and, uh, just become very much a fan of Czech beer. I've been to a couple other places in the Czech Republic, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, German beer's Probably always going to be my favorite, but I don't know. There's some damn good Czech beer. There's actually a really good beer I had in Slovakia, too. I want to say it was called... I can't remember how what the name in Slovak was. I want to say it was called... I think it translates to Golden Pheasant or something like that. I had it at the first Slovak pub in Bratislava. And it was delicious. Let's see. Right, let's get some repairing here. Oh, I better heal up a little bit here, too. Um, we'll do a stim pack. I probably should hotkey this. Oh, didn't mean to do that. 
Oh well. Just wasted the stealth boy. I get you. Yes. Did I get you? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that minigun in that behind. I really did not mean to take that stealth boy, but oh well. Hi, which where are we going here? Completely going the wrong way. Um, can I drop a marker? No. Uh, yes, I want to set my marker there. Yeah, I, I suspect we're not going to be able to get over there from here. Probably just going to fast travel to Dukov's place. So this is the metro that we just came from going to assume hmm. hey big book of science Sir, searching for targets. Let's, uh, let's consume that book before I forget big book of science Science increased by two. I'll bring my science up to now. Science is up to 55. Cool. Alright, let's just see what's beyond this rubble here. I'm pretty sure there's not a way around it. Yes. Well, you know, it's, a, it's part of my high-fiber diet. Let's give you uh, some of that. I think he just tried to shoot a grenade. Yeah, he did. Oh, and it's going to blow up that car. Look out, Sydney. Now you did pretty good on your own. Oh, damn it. I'm just gonna run from the car, too. Yeah, at least it keeps me educated. Exactly. Yeah, this is a dead end. Alright. I'm gonna heal up here, and then we're gonna fast travel over to Dukov's place, because I don't have time to go searching for a way through. So, we're just gonna... I don't normally like to fast travel. Especially, I haven't played the game as so damn long, but... Uh, we're on a schedule here. So, and it's not that far, it's literally just there, so. Okay, make sure that we're not spawning into anything nasty here, which we are. Raiders? I can't see anything with all the blood on my face. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. What up with the car explosions? Run, run, please. Thank you. Oh, great. I got red roaches over here. Can't stand the sight of your own blood. <laughs> yeah, we're going to definitely have to heal up here. I'm going to. Well, that could have gone a little bit better. Looks like you have... A, yeah, I have a Michael Bay mod installed. Exactly. What the hell is that right Every there day is. is a good day to die. Yes, we have the Michael Bay car mod, apparently. So, this location is added by that uh, 3D NPCs mod I mentioned earlier. This is where I first met Audrey, the ghoul. That's also in uh, Tales from the Commonwealth and Fallout 4. There's a... Ooh, take those. There's a, a quest that you meet her on in that building there. Uh, let's get some stim packs here. Actually, I probably didn't need to heal up that much. I, let's say there might be a centaur or something over here. There's the Anchorage Memorial. Is that 
rat roaches or there's sometimes there's some oh it's marlurks keep them pinned there's marlurks down there you know what we're gonna save here we're gonna save here because you know we've seen what happens. let's go for the little marlurk face Get away from my dog. Dog is getting his ass handed from here. I think dog meat's down. Dog meat is down. Dog meat is down. Come on, boy. Yeah, I'm I'm using a mod that makes your companions essential, because in Fallout 3 they will die. The first time I played this game, I, I started with New Vegas. And unless you're playing hardcore mode in New Vegas, your companions just become unconscious. So when I started playing Fallout 3 for the first time, I just assumed that uh, I would do the same thing. There was another Michael Bay car. Um, I just assumed that, you know, they just go down. No, the first time I got that message that dog meat has died, it broke my heart. <laughs> It completely... I was seriously distressed that Dogmeat had died. So, I went and found a mod that made your companions essential, and I've been using it ever since. Uh, Decker says, you know there's a New Vegas mod that makes companions essential hard mode as well. Yes, and I am using it in my New Vegas playthrough. Absolutely, because I don't want to lose Eddie, or Veronica, or Cass, or any of them. I think we've been in here already. I want to hold off on healing up. I think we're going to head over to my little subway base player home. Spend the night there, because it's getting uh, 7 o'clock again here. Sounds like there's maybe a super mutant over here. I see a red hash on the marker. Yeah, New Vegas. Well, oh, actually, in New, um, for this, for Fallout 3, I'm also using a mod that makes the caravanners essential so they don't die. I hate that. And New Vegas, I'm using one that makes, I don't know if it makes it, makes the caravanners essential, but it definitely makes them better armed and better equipped so that they stand more of a chance out in the wastes. Huh. Get away from my dog. And again, I hit dog. Teach you to mess with me. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Right, you probably just had the sludge, the super sludge. I know we've been in here already. Yep, that stuff's all, all empty. Nope, that's not a working campfire. Alright, I have a little player home right across the river. And where is the damn... Uh, we gotta get over here. We have to cross the... get over to the memorial this way. I have a little player home right across the river in the uh, in the metro. It's called this, I think it's called the Subway... Subway Hideout? It is a very, very cool little player home. And I think that's where we're gonna go. I'll get some sleep and heal up. And then we will spend the rest of the stream just bopping around uh, around the wasteland a little bit. Oh. Can I not go this way? I want to get over this rock. It won't let me. Why, game? Why? And I'm going to have to repair my gear here, too, when we get there. Oh, we need to... Oh, there's our wobbly mountains. We all know and love. Wobbly mountains still exist in Fallout 4. Uh, 
Uh, do I regenerate LOD? No. No, I've never done that. That's something that, honestly, it's never really bothered me. Oh, yeah, super. Sorry. Now, the whole LOD thing has been kind of fuzzy math for me. I don't completely understand or have any experience with how it works, how to regenerate. One of these days I might get into it, but honestly, it's just... It doesn't bother me up to want to take the time to figure out how to do it. Let me put it, just put it that way. Alright. Enter the little player home I had. We have to go into... Uh, I'm not sure it was this... There's actually another... Where are we from the other door here? That might be quicker, actually. You know, it's right around the corner. We'll go past uh, Willem's Wharf. Oh, it is kind of dark here. I'm not sure how that looks on stream. We can go through the metro. I mean, it might actually be quicker just to go around the corner here. Let me drop a save. Just spend a little bit. It's just around the corner from Willem's Wharf, so it might actually be quicker to go this way. And sprint. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty nice. Nice clear, well, semi-clear sky. Grandma Sparkle's, Grandma Sparkle hanging out. Nope, she's there, in the, sitting in the dark. So right around this corner, if there isn't a uh, Talon... Hit squad around the corner for me, which it looks like that there is. There's always a friggin' town squad over here. Always a town hit squad. Right at the entrance to my house. Yep. Damn it. I'm going to get rid of some of these. Actually, I'm going to heal up here. Didn't want to have to waste any more stim packs until I slept, but, you know. Uh, let's use some of these. Uh-oh. I can't see where the hell they are. Hmm. Well, we're going to be sleeping. Good boy, dog meat. Another kill Nora contract. Alright, let's head on inside before any more of them show up. Okay, so this is the subway hideout, player home. Uh, it's got a workbench. Why not? No, I'm just gonna use my uh, my little component things there. You can go out to the metro this way. It does connect to the metro system out that way. And it's got lots of storage. I might actually have some things here too. Oh yeah, I do. We just need that stuff here for now have anything for the outcasts. Um, that's all the stuff I had. Storage, workbench, a stove, but it doesn't actually do anything. It came with a little bit of food, some pork and beans and things, a couple beds, a lot of safe storage. You can actually display your bobbleheads here, and they'll show up uh, in your Megaton house, and also they show up in um, the underground hideout. So it looks like all the bobblehead displays are kind of linked. And I normally have a radio here that I had hey, three dogs. Yeah, it's three dogs. Do He's a little hard. I love I love three dogs. He's just too hard to talk to when you're streaming. Uh, but let's get some sleep. And we should get the well-rested bonus on the bed. I'm going to go for... Let's do ten hours. Get healed up here. Okay. We are healed. Uh, I've got an encumbrance problem here, as usual. And let me just, uh, let me repair some things here. 
and then we'll get get underway. Let's see, tear some of this stuff down. Actually, since I'm repairing, I am going to save. Yeah, this is your president, John Henry Eden. Yeah, I think it's after... Is it after Waters of Life? That's when the Enclave shows up? That's kind of one I think I want to... I think next time... If not the next time I play Fallout 3... The next time. Time after that. Either, either the next stream or the stream after that. We're going to go finish Waters of Life. Because I want the Enclave. I want to see those... Those fellers... Oh, that brings me down to 301. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the map. Here, what we're going to do here in the time we have left. Uh, I don't think we're going to get as far as I wanted tonight. So I think we're going to head over to... Um, going to head over to Springvale. We'll drop stuff off at the mini hideout. I don't want to get in the Megaton. I was thinking of going to Megaton and uh, selling some things. But we're just going to drop it off at the mini hideout. And I can do some... Uh, I'm trading off stream. Because we have to go do some exploring. Drop things off of my player home there. Speaking of John Henry, Eden, there's our happy little enclave I bought. I don't hear him broadcasting anything. It'll be quicker to drop off the things I want to sell than to go and do the trading at Megaton, so that's what we'll do. Have everyone. Where's Sydney? Did Sydney, uh. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Sydney gave me a radio. This. Oh, there she is. There she is. Now, Sydney gives you a radio when you first recruit her after the Stealing Independence quest. I just don't remember where it is. Ah, Sydney's radio. A lot of the, um. I, know, I noticed, uh. Things that would normally be under your aid item in Fallout 4 are under apparel in Fallout 3. Probably New Vegas, too. I, I don't really know offhand. But Sydney gives you a radio, so if you get separated from her, you activate the radio. And, uh... I'm gonna guess it moves a, uh, move to player command on her. And I was just gonna try it out, but she came running out of the... Out of the distance there. Out of the rain. There's Springvale right down there. And that's where we're headed. Our little mini bunker hideout in Springvale. This is the player home mod I'm using in place of the uh, house in Megaton. Right here into the Red Rocket Garage. And it is an awesome little player. Oh yeah, see you can put the bobbleheads here. So I had the three bobbleheads over in the uh, the subway hideout. Oh, well, they're here as well. And if you go over to the House of Megaton, they'll be on the bobblehead stands there. It's, it just works. So let me grab... Uh, let's see what Sydney has Stop. here. Uh, let's trade equipment. Sure. Here's what I can spare. Okay, what's her... Helen Combat Armor. I'm actually going to take that from her repair. Repair it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to let her keep that. I gave her a copy of the Wasteland Survival Guide. Uh, that's right. 
I've got to go back and look. If you give her skill books instead of taking them yourself, it will actually increase her skills. And I think if I take that away from her, she loses that that debuff. I can't remember for sure. Uh, I'm actually going to take those purified water from her. I will run those through the purifier. And there's other things. You can give her... I think if you give her like a like a cooking pot and some food, she'll cook food. It's there's a ton of things in this in the the Sydney mod that are pretty advanced for Fallout 3, I think. I'm right behind you. Okay, I just wanted to repair some of this talent combat armor here. Give that back to her. Yeah, what's up? Cuz it's obviously better than what she comes with. Sure. Here's what I can spare. Otherwise, she wouldn't be wearing it. So I'm going to give that back to her. And she can wear that. I'm ready. Lead on. Okay, and then what does RL3 have? RL3 is ready for duty, sir. Mm, storage module, please. RL3 comes equipped oh, well, with everything a, a good man. soldier yeah, needs. Gonna, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Okay. All these heavy weapons, we're just going to leave here. And uh, it's got 36 purified water. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm definitely over encumbered. Has the laboratory finished anything for me? No. Okay. Nope, it hasn't. I'm making something now, though. I have a ton of C. I have, uh... Power armor. Somewhere somewhere I actually have power armor, I thought. Unless I'm thinking of my... You know what? I think I'm thinking of my other character. My other character that I have for Fallout 3 that I uh, used for testing and just just messing around, I actually gave Bitter Cup... Oh, that's... I don't know what weapons in there. I actually gave Bitter Cup the... Uh, some Brotherhood of Steel power armor, and uh, it was pretty fun. So I have a ton of this. I have another fat man in there too. I see it. all of these things can go. That's, I'm gonna hang on to that to, just for repair, but I think we're good there. Miscellaneous items. I have a, a junk lock in here too. Let me throw some of those things in here, and I will sell those at some other point. Camera. Scrap metal. Oy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that stuff right now. Um, I have no ammo. The ammo, since ammo doesn't weigh anything, I'm just gonna hang on to it. Any bottles I have, and fill those up. Fill up all your bottles with water. And I should have plenty of purified water now. I have 30. I don't need that many. I'm gonna give our all three some of those. By your command, sir. It's probably what's weighing me down. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Who needs Project Purity? I have 66 purified waters I can pass out. Forget Project Purity. I got it in my sink here. And my uh, water purifier. Uh, I have, uh, I just, those dirty waters I took from Sydney, we're gonna... Purify those. Three dirty waters. Okay, so we are going to drop another save before we head back out. And let's consult our map here. See, I don't know how far we're going to get. I'd like to end up somewhere out in this way. So we're going to go past... Uh, i actually been out Jury Street Metro Station's the farthest we got. I'd like to end up somewhere out this way. So I'm actually going to set the map marker for there. So we know where we're going. And it is still raining. Actually, no, it's not. Oh. Can I repair all the stuff I wanted to repair? How are we doing here? Apparel. Wonder glue. Oh boy, look at all this. This is pretty beat up. Backpack doesn't take damage, apparently. So we have... That's in good shape. 
probably could give Arl... You know what? I'm going to give Arl through that scrap metal, too. Yes, Commander. Because I'm going to sell that to Walter. RL-3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL-3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. All right, cool. Alrighty. I think we're set. Wasteland, here we come, finally. Hey, Mad Dog, how you doing? Oh, Bittercup's writing poetry back in the underground hideout. We, uh, we left her there. She's holding down the fort there, writing her, her, her poetry. Her dark poetry. Uh, you just missed a rainstorm with the, uh, the audio files that you, uh, reduced the volume on for me. Like I mentioned, uh, last time, they worked beautifully. They, uh, definitely... Definite improvement. Oh, yeah, we have raiders up on the bridge here, don't we? Let's go see if we can't hey. take them out. Did I hit him? And we've had one freeze so far. Keep firing. Oh, hello. That's it. Oh, where are you coming from? Oh, you're over here. Ah, there you are. Hmm. Oh, that camera. Good Glad job, team. Over. What did this guy have? Yeah, we had one VATS freeze. It's just like playing Fallout 4. And we are on our way. Uh, we're going to head over towards Jury Street Metro Station. We're just, we're just kind of... We just came out of Underground Hideout. We went and cleared out the, um, the slavers over at the Lincoln Memorial. We just kind of... Did a little bit of exploring in the subways down here, and now we're just making our way across. I kind of want to end the stream over in here, because we haven't been over this way yet. So we're just going to go do a little bit of exploring. We've been up in that barn already, but let's go check that out. think there's anybody in here I think there's a I think there's a random encounter that you get some wastelanders and a fridge full of purified water I, I think this is one of the locations you can see them I or maybe it's just another barn that looks exactly the same because these barns are in New Vegas too they're uh, they're pretty uh pretty common Maybe it's not another burn. I'm thinking of that random encounter. I thought it was, thought it was this one. That grass, yeah. I like that grass. Hard to see uh, corpses and enemies, though. Oh, you know, I should probably heal up here. I took a little damage from those raiders. Uh, let's do some squirrel on a stick and some squirrel stew. And oh, let's do some of that there purified water. I've only got 66 of them. Speaking of uh, problems we've had, we're going to make another save here. Uh, let's take off that map marker. I think we're probably close enough to where, uh, where we're going. But yes, uh, we left... Uh, we left... Bitter Cup to uh, man the fort at the underground hideout.
I figured two human companions, a Mr. Gutsy, and a dog was probably a little much. A tree or a radio station? Or a, and a beacon? That is a transmitter over there. Let's go investigate that transmitter. We've already been up here, I think. Yeah, this is over by the Jury Street Metro. Oh, you know what? We've been over that radio tower already, I believe. Because we've been already, uh, already been through here. Yep, I remember killing this... I think I remember killing this Talon Mark. Maybe, uh... Got a combat knife sticking out of him. I don't know if I did that or not. Pretty sure we've been over to that, that tower. Let's go check it out, though. I know... Okay, I know we've been over here, because I remember going in one of these houses here. There's nothing over here. But we'll check it out anyway. Uh-oh. Who we got? Oh. We're challenged. Nice. I just freaking healed up, too. We are just getting bombarded with Talon Company mercs today. Right, you have... Yeah, Talon Company might want to consider cutting their losses. We're definitely cutting into their profit margins today. All the gear that we've taken from them? Definitely. I was going to go over here. Oscar Tango signal found. Yeah, it doesn't actually show up on your... doesn't actually... Oh, there it is. Secret enclave code. Who can say? Hmm. Alright, which way do we want? We want to go west. We want to head to the west. Actually, we want to head up. Let's drop a map marker. We want to go that way. We want to go to the northwest. Is that a robo-brain over there? I think, it, yes, it is. It is a freaking robo-brain. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, use some of these wonderful zoom scopes and one-shot the robo-brain. Where did you go, robo-brain? Hmm. Where the hell did it go? I know it was here. Oh, there you are. Energy cell, we'll take them. Because why not? Hmm. Detected? Who are we detected by? What do we have here? Ah. Oh. I think we have super mutants here. Lock and load. Need some help with this one. I thought we've been over here already. We have. They've respawned. Hmm. Yeah, this, uh, train ruins. We've been down here already. I kind of got stuck a little bit. Yeah, we've been... We've been down here. Oh, yes. Um, Evergreen Mills is down this way, no? Yes? Yes, Evergreen Mills. 
Yeah, when we came out of Evergreen Mills, whenever that was, we came over here and found this the wreck trains. We got everybody. Uh oh. Over this way. What or who is over this way? Hey! Made in the USA. Well, so much for surprise. Had enough. Right, the Tektron. Hmm. Energy cells. Well, oh, I actually wanted to take those. Still looking for uh, sensor modules for uh, Cell to the Outcasts. Sir, I am on the what do we have over here? We have fog. Huh? And more enemies. Super mutants. Oh, there's gotta be a centaur somewhere. Oh, jeez, he's got a grenade. If I can find out what this guy had here, I'll take a frag grenade. Why not? Hmm, the hell we got up here? Something with a map marker. Oh, is this? I bet this is. Is this, um. This is that Talon Company camp, isn't it? Fort something. Yeah, we're not going to go in there yet. That's Talon Company. Fort Constantine? Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, we're not uh, we're not going there yet. <laughs> we are not ready to go. Yeah, we're not going there yet. That's I remember that being extremely hairy just to uh, explore the perimeter. So nope, we're gonna we're gonna give that a pass. Thank you. I think it's Fort Constantine, isn't it? Isn't that what it's called? I know that's part of the, uh... You gotta shoot him in the head quest. Alright, oh yeah, that's definitely it. I... Oh, he's got... Our... Scope zooming technology reveals that Scanning, he has a friggin' missile launcher. Yeah, we're. I'm gonna take a pass tonight. Thank you. And now one of my oh. inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry. E. Is that you, RL3? <laughs> Who's this? Is this Doc Hoff? Oh, there you are. Like is this Doc Hoff? Where's your caravan? Where is your caravan? If you've got the caps, I've got your fate. Looking for that special something? What are you doing here all but Are we over there selling the Talon? Tell me what you need. Hmm. And maybe I've got your fix. I have anything I can sell him. You know, I'm going to sell him these just to get rid of them. And... I think that's all. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of some of the dog meat. Radroach meat. Just to lighten the load a little bit. Good. Now we can hang out and listen to the uh, Enclave music. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Cheers, pal. Hmm. Watch yourself out there. Where is your caravan, Doc? Hmm. Happy little Enclave iBot. Oh! This is that Fallout 4 mod that replaces the Pack Brahmin. For your uh, provisioners with iBots. I get it. He's actually traveling with Doc Hawk. No, I'm kidding. Something's going on down here. There's a Yalgwai. 
Looks like attacking. Who is that? Maybe that's Doc Hoff's caravan guard? No. Yagwai just killed somebody. Maybe it was a caravan guard. The mod that I have uh, to make them essential. Yeah, that's got to be who it is. Let's go uh, give him a hand. Oh, I could have got the torso for 95. Oh, well. Are you Doc Hoff's caravan guard? Hello. Hey. Yep. Uh, you got a little problem with your uh, weapon there? <laughs> uh. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Yeah. Um. Evening. All of this just works. That's special. Alrighty then. Hey. Okay. Yeah, that mod I had that makes the uh, the caravanners essential. That's probably why he got up. I wonder if that's like a side effect of it. Anyway, it was very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. Okay, we're gonna give the uh, the fort there. He's giving the salute to Eden. <laughs> hey, Legionary Hunter, how you doing? Good to see ya. All right, well, we're gonna give the uh, talent company there a wide berth, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, more Yaogwai. Oh, you got a cold? Oh, that sucks, man. Especially these days. Take care of yourself. Hope you feel better. Right, where the hell are we? How far are we from that map marker? Not too far. Any other map markers? Actually, there's something showing up on the compass here. Let's see if we can head over this way. Uh, we're just we're just out roaming the waste. Just trying to uh, explore a little bit since we haven't we haven't been out this way yet. Haven't done a whole lot of exploring, so that's kind of going to be what we're doing for a while, or at least the rest of the stream and probably the stream after that. Oh yeah, we got something up. more. You... Brahmin. Oh, a dog attacking the Brahmin. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood. <laughs> Raider guard dog. Well, I'll bet there's raiders up here. Oh, uh, the wet weather was warm a couple days ago. Now you got now you got a cold. Yeah, weather changes will do that, especially this time of year. That's when I always get sick. It's, this isn't the bed and breakfast, is it? No, we haven't been out here yet. Bed and breakfast is back over. Where's that bed and breakfast? Back up this way. Where the hell is that? Big town. I thought it was over here somewhere. Hang on a minute. Sort home. There it is. I just saw it. Yeah, that's the place I was thinking of. All right, let's uh. Nice. He's on their stuff. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, there's more of them. Many more of them. Check the condition of this thing too. 
So at least one more. All right, we're gonna. Re I just want to check the condition of my sniper rifle because I don't think I've repaired that all night long. Nope. Oh, there you are. No. Alright, you probably have a look like a hunting rifle. Yeah, we're just gonna... Leave all that other stuff there. Okay. There was... I'm gonna take that map marker off. We don't need that anymore. We're kind of in the vicinity. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna go look at something over here, though. Okay, I think that map marker there, that's Fort Constantine. I think that's what it's called. There was something. Maybe that's what. It... Yeah. Triangle on my compass there. That's what I wanted to go invest. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Char Jesus, this is mine. <laughs> I'm just gonna run until they stop. <laughs> uh, so, what was this? The Charnel House. Alright. Now, I had installed... I don't know if I took it yet. Uh-oh. The game just froze again. Damn it. Yep, I was just opening the pit boy and the game froze. Second time tonight, kids. Good thing I just saved, too. We will fix this. That's unfortunate. We've had a really, really good run. And I was saying earlier how many hours we've had without any problems, and uh, here we got problems. Twice tonight we've frozen. I'll take out these raiders again. That. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the that sucks. Because yeah, I one shot you the last time. Light him up. Aha! There you are. Oh. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. Where are... Oh, look at you. I must be getting tired. <laughs> I completely forgot to put the game back on. Sorry about that, guys. Tamea, you didn't want to look at my, sh my my fancy new animation screen for half an hour? Ooh, weapon repair kit that I will probably never use because I keep forgetting about them. And uh, just been repairing stuff with my junk. Uh, channel description mentioned City 17, you Half-Life fan. Yes. Yes, I am. Although I have not played it in, uh, a very, very, very long time. Uh, let's see. Uploading these Switch streams on YouTube? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I will be switching my live streaming over here eventually. And there's people that don't, uh, either can't or don't want to come over to Twitch, which I completely understand. I don't want to leave them out, so everything I stream on Twitch is going to YouTube. Uh, let's see. Duck and cover. Explosives increased by two. Hold off repairing that. Ooh. This is, uh, you know, I'm going to drop another save here. And we don't have to go kill the raiders again.
Now, what I was going to do before the game froze the last time was check the map. Charnel House. Yeah, that's, I just wanted to see what the hell the name of this was, and the game froze. You know, I'll take that up and sell it. Another ammo box over. I can't get to it because the raider's in the way. There we go. A556. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Enough mines? You guys got enough mines, right? Okay. Where gonna go. Our map marker is back this way. Those little hot potatoes. Oh, hello. That's over. Yeah, all those little hot potatoes. Oh, I know what I was gonna go and look at before the game froze. I was gonna look at my perks. I was gonna say that I have a mod, I think it's by Gopher, actually, that uh, highlights, uh, highlights, it's a perk, it highlights mines and traps while you're sneaking. I don't think I've taken that yet. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wanna take that next time around. And I think I'm using it in my New Vegas playthrough as well. So when you're sneaking with the perk, the uh, mines and traps will highlight green. Okay, that's that's an enclave I bought there. Oh, oh Jesus! Here we go. Look at them all. What the hell? Did I? Oh, hello. I can see... I, I think that was a scaver over there. I can see... Yes, advanced, retron, advanced recon trap protector. Legionary hunter. Exactly. That is the one. Uh, there was a... Uh, did he die? There was a scaver standing right here. There he is. Yeah? Look at that missile launcher on... This guy, holy Christmas. Uh, what do you have for sale? If the price is right, make me an offer. Hmm. You only have 111 caps, so... I'm gonna sell a whole lot here. I have 22 frag grenades. I'm gonna have to start using those. Uh, what do I have for junk I can sell him? Anything? Ah, I have all the cigarettes. I knew oh, there was a reason I hung on to those. Okay, we're gonna sell those. Well, oh, oh, yeah, see... I will take your 556, five, sir. And then you can give me the uh, 99 caps. How about that? Another satisfied customer. Hmm. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh. Oh, he scored himself an Enclave iBot. It's a, a sensor module. It is. Another sensor, sensor module for Protector Kasdan. That's practically junk. Oh, my God. Did I not get all the hot little potatoes, or what? Alright. Do I have a place... I probably don't have any place close to here to go when, uh... I don't have any player homes near here, do I? No, I don't. The closest player home is an Arafu. Hmm. Well, I think... We might get up to our map marker here. I may actually make the game wait for daylight. Was for a little boy the perfect existence. So let me ask you, America. Oh, look how cool this is. How looks. many of your children can say the same? Hmm. How many of this nation's Sir, I am on the lookout. Oh. I kinda wanted to hear the happy little long play by Bob. Oh. Jesus. They just come out of nowhere. Yes, please. 
game is telling me not to hoard it. Yes, let the explosives fly and be free. Hmm, we can't get up there this way. Alright. Uh, it's getting dark, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna just kind of stand here. This glorious, uh... I'm gonna save the game here, though. I'm gonna wait here. And we are gonna... Let's see, let's do... Let's do 11 hours. I'm just gonna wait. I'll lose my well-rested bonus, but I'm okay with that. There. Oh, that looks so cool. Sun coming up over the ruins. I'm going to heal up a little bit here, too. I think we're going to make it up to the map marker there, and I'm probably going to call the stream there. Let's head up the hill here. Oh, I can't get up the hill there. Oh, you have to go around the hill. Here comes your uh, audio files there, Mad Dog. I'll wait to the uh, the storm to subside, and then we'll figure out how we're gonna end things here. Oh boy, more enemies. Yeah, that thunder is thunder is a huge improvement. Who are we fighting here? Who was that? Take that. Yeah, there is a compass thing on the compass up here. I'm actually going to take off the map marker here. We're almost there. Let's go find out what this thing on the compass is. And that may or may not be a good place to uh, safely end the stream. Let's see what we can find. everybody I can't see anything through the grass it's at the top of this ridge here by this tree Let's see what we got over the ridge here. Hmm. A couple of... A couple of compass markers. Let's make another save. Well, I w I'll take freezes and bats for the pit boy over crashes anytime. But uh, we've streamed many, many, many hours with no problems. Where are we here? Oh, the grass scorpion? I, I can't see a damn thing in the grass. Yeah. We just had another Vats freeze. Son of a bitch. What is this, Fallout 4? This has got to be Fallout 4. Three Vats freezes tonight. That's that's a record. That is a record. I'll take those over crashing at any, any time, though. But I don't understand why all of a sudden we're getting multiple bats freezes. I do not understand it. <laughs> I don't have the Bats Freeze Fix mod, unfortunately. No. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, uh... That's a little odd. Where? Oh! Guys are far enough away. Don't kill 
Oh, he's uh kind of sinking into the ground there. That takes care of that. There's another one down here. I love I love the scope zooms. Holy Christmas. One second. And there that, we go. Uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Hey, set guy, how you doing? Uh, have they updated Creation Club or 76? No idea. Yeah, I don't pay attention to either of those. Unless you're talking about the, uh, the Wastelanders DLC for 76? That just came out. No idea about the Creation Club, though. Let's see if we can't get to the... Oh! Everglow National Campground. All right, well, that's kind of anticlimactic. I didn't exactly want to end here. But, uh, there's another marker on the compass. Let's see if there's something over this way. Oh, Enclave I bought. And I see some red over here. Oh, Raiders. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's take a look here. Let's um I'm actually going to save the game. And let's go into the main menu and let's check check the microtransaction store to see if there's anything been updated. Oh, where's where's my 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 absolutely uh, awesome microtransaction store. I don't have one. M maybe, maybe that's why my game's crashing. The uh, the microtransaction storefront seems to be missing from my game. That might be why we're having problems tonight. Hmm, another fry grenade. Yeah, I, I may have to, uh, I may have to put in a support ticket to Bethesda and find out why I have no microtransaction storefront. Because I would really, really like to buy the $15 Enclave skin for my power armor when I get it. Oops, I cannot jump over that. Alright, there's... I don't know where to go here. I think that's here. I think I see a radio station down there. Maybe there's a relay station. And I see a red rocket, too. Alright, let's... Ooh, super mutant. Let's head down to that red rocket. And that's probably a good time to... Good place to end the stream there. That may actually have, uh, that might be one of these waypoints on the compass. Yes, imagine if they started, uh, CC for New Vegas in 3, you could, you could purchase your weapon repair kits from the Creation Club. Oh, I know where we are, yes! Oh, this is an awesome place to end the stream. This is a perfect place to end the stream. Alright, so we're at this red rocket. I don't know if this is a, uh... Vanilla location? Actually, it is a vanilla location. It doesn't have a map. I think it's a map marker. But see the super mutant here. See the super mutant. This is uh, Captain Cosmos. Captain Cosmos is added by that Chris, ha Chris Takahashi 3D NPC mod. And we get a quest from Captain Cosmos. So, Captain Cosmos, hello, sir. Jangles, you alive? <laughs> uh, Jangles? Yes! That's your name! Jangles the monkey! You sit on shoulder! Eat bananas! Throw feces! <laughs> and, uh, who are you? Jangles not see? It is I, Captain Cosmos! 
I, I, I see I didn't recognize you because you're a super mutant. No! Cosmos is a super man. Only when he put on glasses is he mutant in disguise. <laughs> ah, well, tell me more about Captain Cosmos. Is not obvious? Captain Cosmos is hero who travels galaxy. He defends truth. Uphold justice. Fight for space American way. <laughs> um, what can you tell me about Jangles? She is you. You are her. Monkey from the moon. Sidekick to Cosmos. Hmm. Uh, if that's the case, then what are you doing here? Very well, Jangles. I will tell you story of origin. Cosmos. He sent by NASA to find alien planet, sleep with their women, and teach them about America. This space American odyssey bring him here. Oh, what on earth is the space American way? It means drive big car, have big gun, and small, small rocket ship. Uh, that's enough, Captain Cosmos. Very well. Uh, so where's your spaceship? Jangles puny, so maybe she not see, but it right above you, red rocket, fastest ship in galaxy. Uh, what is your current mission? To meet with alien leader, he go east to forbidden zone, there he find his destiny. <laughs> uh, do you want me to accompany you on your mission? No, Cosmos has special job for Jangles. She must help big ship. Hmm, how do I do that? Jangles must find alien space rocket and steal engine parts. Here, take this drawing. It tell you what Cosmos need. When finished, meet Cosmos at Tall Monument. That look like good place to plant flag. <laughs> and yes, we have uh, Truth, Justice, and the Space A. Space A? Ah, okay. Truth, justice, in the space American way. Remove engine parts from the rocket. Where exactly does that take us? Oh, Jesus. Oh, we probably have to go back to, uh... Ah, the Museum of Technology. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Uh, Whiskey saying, uh, I thought NASA was called something different. Well, I, I, I think you're right. That was my thought too. I don't think it was NASA. Um, so we have. To, it looks like we have to go to um, Museum of Technology. Probably something off that Virgo lunar, lunar Lander. I was afraid we we're gonna have to do something with the uh, Mothership Zeta DLC. But yeah, that's Captain Cosmos. That's that's post-war Captain Cosmos. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna actually deactivate that quest. But yeah, that's uh, that's from the. Uh, I guess Tales from the Capital Wasteland mod, lack of a better term. But uh, I'm going to end things here, guys. Let's uh, save the game. And then we will uh, this is Enclave Radio just pop with over here. Okay. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. I have to adjust my OBS setup. Um, yeah, this new screen, I'm just getting used to it. I have, uh, I couldn't see that the microphone wasn't on there for a minute, but yeah, it is a work night. I am going to wrap things up here. And, um, do I play Fallout 3 often? Uh, as often as I can. I usually try and alternate between the Fallout games. I'm moving, uh, I've been streaming on YouTube for about a year or so, a little, little, little more than a year. Been playing three in New Vegas over there. Uh, Poveros, ah, thank you. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Um, I've been, I try and play at least once, once or twice a month, but I'm going to try once a week, no promises, off as as I can. But I'll, I'll rotate between three New Vegas and Fallout 4. We actually played New Vegas on Sunday. I'll probably be playing um, Fallout 4 back here on Twitch on Saturday. 
And I'll be on YouTube Friday night for my usual Fallout 4 stream over there with my low luck character build um, Friday evening. And if you would like to join us over there, this is my YouTube channel. I usually start around 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, but yeah, I'm working from home with the whole pandemic and everything, so I have a little extra time during the week, not a whole lot. But uh, I would like to make the Fallout 3 and New Vegas things weekly, but I, I it's going to take a uh, a little planning. I, I'm not sure because I um, have a lot of other things going on. But uh, I can tell you I will be back on Twitch on Saturday night, at least that's the plan, uh, for some Fallout 4 mod testing like we did last couple of weeks. Fallout, uh, Fallout 4 Friday on Twitch, possibly Sunday, or I'm sorry, Fallout 4 Friday on YouTube. I, I, I gotta get everything over to one platform. It's too damn confusing for both me and for you guys. Um, And Sunday, maybe New Vegas, but that might be a modding and video editing day. I'm not really sure yet, uh, but we'll see. But I uh, do appreciate everybody coming and hanging out for a few hours for the Fallout 3s. And working through the VATS freezes, I do not understand why that's starting all of a sudden. But they're not that bad. That's why you save. <laughs> it's Fallout 3 and Windows 10, that's why you save. But, um, it can, uh, Mad Fargo says, uh, contact the mod author, offer to share files since they are working. Oh, you mean for the, uh, for the weather? Cool. Cool. Um, and if... Um, Deckard's still here. Deckard, I did download, uh, I did, maybe we used him on, no, Sunday. Sunday after the New Vegas stream, I get, did go and download those, um, alternate audio files for the New Vegas, uh, for the mobile truck base. Thank you for recommending those. Those, uh, reduced gear and motor sounds for the mobile truck base make a, a, a ton of difference. So we will be using those next time we play New Vegas. I appreciate that, uh, I, I had no idea that those existed. Much easier than, than editing the files myself. But, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Those of you just uh, discovering the channel, appreciate the follows. And uh, if you're interested in some Fallout 4 Friday night, we'll be on YouTubes. Otherwise, I plan on being back here on Twitch on Saturday with the Fallout 4s. And uh, see you guys then. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next time.